Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We take our 19 millimeter socket and breaker bar, and while the vehicle is on the ground, we'll loosen our lug nuts. Raise and support the vehicle. With the lug nuts loose, I can just take the socket and finish taking them off. Lug nuts loose, I'll take the wheel off and tire and put it aside. Push in on these plastic tabs behind this. This is the wheel speed sensor. It's clipped to this bracket. Push in on the locks, the plastic tabs, slide that out. So I basically just squeeze those down. Now I'm going to remove the 10 millimeter bolt, pull the speed sensor out of the rear knuckle, take the 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Thread that right out. Work the speed sensor out of here. Kind of wiggle it back and forth. Try not to pull on the wires. Work it back and forth, pull it out. Got a little rubber seal, and just place this aside. Unclip the ABS sensor, this little bracket, clipped into the body, and I push in the lock tab. Work it out, this one on the top, one on the bottom. Spray some rust penetrant in here, help free it up. Two tabs, top and bottom. I take some needle nose pliers and squeeze them together. Work on pulling this out. So basically, you just had to squeeze these tabs together here. Just follow the ABS sensor wire up and under the car. It's clipped into a bracket right by the gas tank and just above this brake line. And the electrical connector for the car side is there. I'm kind of taking the gloves off my Taking the tip, the fingertips off my glove here so I can feel it better. It's basically, there's a small little lock and you have to unhook it and then it will flip down and the connector should come out. It's really hard to get your hands up in here. I can't get this connector off the clip to unlock it. So I'm gonna very carefully take our trim clip tool and this is a brake line, so you don't want to break the brake line. But I'm going to pop out the clip that's holding it on to the body. And then what I'm going to do is spin this clip down and I'm going to pop it off of the brake line. down, this way with it, so yeah, you're supposed to be able to just pop this out of here. <laughs> so you, you take a small flat blade screwdriver which you really can't fit up in there and you just kind of pop this out just like that. Now we can unhook the ABS sensor, push in the lock, pull apart. There's our ABS sensor. I'll put this clip back up in there. Get up and on the brake line. I clip it in place. I'm going to slide it down. Put it right back into the body. the connector back in, it will snap, it locks in place, feed this up, like this way, Turn it around, clip it 
into that holder. Just like that. Run the cord up and over this connector here, this holder, clip it in. here at the hub and then we'll install it into the hub. The opposite side is similar. It's actually a little bit easier to get to. There's more space here. This has a, a lock that you'd un, undo on the top. Let me see if I can do it. Small flat bladed screwdriver to unlock this. Pull that off and then you can take the connector right out and this it'd be the same to remove it as the, uh, the other side that we just showed you. Just put it back in place and then clip this back up. I'll just reinstall the bolt. Very little torque on these, about seven foot pounds, so really just hand tight, just like that. All right, put the wheel back on the car. Lugs caught, get them caught by hand first. We'll torque them with the vehicle weight on it when it's on the ground. Really just need to bring them down until they're seated. The vehicle on the ground, the lug nut torque is 79.6 foot pounds, so we're going to do it to 80. Do this in a cross pattern. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.